So now let's take a look at how Group IB's fraud hunting platform can actually detect infected mobile devices in real time. Here you can see an emulated device on the left-hand side of your screen actually logging in to our test banking application. It's important to actually detect emulated devices on your mobile apps because fraudsters will typically use this in the preparation phases in order to test their different tool sets and see if everything's working properly. Here you can see us entering the username and very complex 111 password, as well as selecting the bank and the transfer amounts that we'd like to have, just showing you that everything is working properly. Now jumping in to the fraud hunting platform, we can see how a new detection of emulator device usage was detected, as well as many other details in the fraud hunting platform, such as the user's time zone, user screen size, different user agents they use, and all of these details and device forensics can use, be used to actually investigate fraud and see what happened in real time. Now let's actually jump back to the example that we were going to show you before and launch a malicious Trojan on our emulated device. Here you can see we're launching the malicious application on the emulated device which asks you to launch different security systems. Typically, Android Trojans would like to get access to the administrative level of the specific mobile device so they can conduct other malicious behavior, such as web overlays. Here you can see how Fraud Hunting Platform actually detects this type of emulated user activity, as well as the accessibility services being activated on this particular device. This is the first sign of an infected device in many cases. Now you can actually see a new example if we go back in and launch our legitimate banking application. So going back in, launching the legitimate application you can now see how the malicious Trojan can act on the emulated device. Now you see activated the administrative privileges, which are being requested by the Trojan, and actually you can see an illegitimate web overlay or fake application to intercept the username and password over the legitimate app that we have. So now let's see how Group IB's fraud hunting platform has detected all of this activity in real time. Here you can see the accessibility services as well as the overlay activity. And you can see that this is specifically an activity of a Trojan designed to steal username and password in real time, as well as all of the other device forensics that can be used for investigation.